I am here from my trip back from Manhattan. For all of you who have listened to my interview of Jerome, I may have developed a sort of theory about him. I am now here, sitting on a chair and writing this theory on a sheet of paper on my desk. Now, as you all know, Jerome fires employees for his boss, Sir William. According to Sir Diego's interview with him, Jerome works in a rather interesting website. Jerome was also hired to fire people ever since he was brought into this world. Now, I have some theories about this. Jerome may be enslaved under his boss, Sir William. But when I started to think about that possibility, I found that concept to be absurd. Jerome being insulated from birth would not make sense, as it seemed he was being treated well in conditions by his boss. There was no trauma in his voice when we interviewed him as well. He was a normal man, and he seemed to have a passion for ruining people's lives. Now, think about that. Ruining people's lives. This is where my main theory comes to play. Jerome claims to like firing people because it ruins lives. Now, think about the many other things that can ruin lives. Crimes, trauma, jail time, abuse, poverty, and murder. Think about that last one, murder. Murder can most definitely ruin people's lives and the people around them. An effective method to truly bring distress to people. Now, Jerome claims that he fires people. His employees, he calls them. Jerome may call his victims employees as it sounds much better to him. And Jerome may call human lives as jobs. However, Jerome uses the term firing. Firing may either mean plain murder or committing arson. Either ways, Jerome words the description of his murders to sound much better. It seems that Jerome likes the idea of authority when he commits murder. But why would Jerome commit murder, you ask? Simple. Jerome is a man who loves authority, so killing people makes him feel in control. Now, what about his boss, Sir William, and the fact that Jerome came into this world by just his sheer enjoyment of firing people? Now, I have come to think that this story and Sir William are fantasies conjured by Jerome. Jerome was born as a regular human, of course. He just likes the idea of conjuring himself into being. As for Sir William, it is a person that Jerome has made up to hide his arousal of authority. It also makes Jerome seem normal. So, you may wonder what Jerome's childhood was like if he was born. Jerome was a man in who was in poverty when he was in his youth. Then he saw men in power and he craved the idea in being in authority. So, Jerome led himself into a delusion believing he had a boss named Sir William and firing employees for him. Jerome became schizophrenic, seeing images to reflect on his own fantasies. Jerome heard voices, and with no medication to help his illness, his fantasies became reality for him. In his head, Jerome thought he was firing people, but he was killing them in actuality. Jer Jerome's schizophrenia has made him believe that his killings are his dreams on authority. Now you may ask, why hasn't Jerome been caught before? Simple. Jerome is a normal man. A man who pretends to be normal to be more accurate. He is a delusional, schizophrenic, serial killer in reality. Jerome has become the man he is today because of his image of authoric figures. Then, you may ask, 
why I'm still alive if Jerome is a serial killer. I don't have a job. <laughs>